Here's a quick tutorial showing how to translate a WordPress plugin. A plugin's interface, both within the WordPress admin and on your pages or posts, can be translated to appear in any language. For this to happen, the plugins developer must do a little preparation. We won't cover this here since this tutorial is only concerned with the actual translation. If available, a plugin will use the language that is defined in the Settings section of the WordPress admin under General. If the plugin has not been translated into the selected language, it will use the original text in the developer's language. In this tutorial we're going to look at using a free app called PoEdit. PoEdit provides a simple interface for translating the text of a plugin and creates translation files in a format WordPress understands. I have already downloaded and installed PoEdit on my computer. You can download it from poedit.net. We're also going to use our taxi fare price calculator CabGrid as an example in this tutorial. I have downloaded the plugin to my desktop and unzipped it. In this folder I have all the plugin files, but most importantly I have a languages or lang folder. In here are all the files that define the language translations for the plugin. Each .po file represents a different language. Using poedit is pretty simple. If the developer has already provided a .po file for a given language, it will be in this folder and you can simply double click on it to open up the translations in poedit. I'll open this Portuguese translation that has already been done. Each line represents a different piece of text that needs translating. Clicking a line loads the original in the source text box and provides a translation box below, where the corresponding translation can be entered. Some lines may include code within less than and greater than brackets or prefixed with a percentage symbol. This code can be copied directly into the translation box and does not usually need to be translated. In some cases there are comments which the developer has left to define the context of the text that needs translating. These can be seen down here on the right hand side. Once all translations have been entered, it's just a matter of saving the file. This will update the appropriate files within the WordPress lang or languages folder. It actually creates this .mo file, which is what WordPress uses. If the developer hasn't created a .po file for the language you wish to translate to, he may have included a .pot file. This is a template for new translations. It can be opened within PoEdit, and from here you can create a new translation in your chosen language. So, I shall choose, say, Dutch, and click OK. Now we have the original side and the Dutch translation side. PoEdit makes suggestions for each line on the right hand side. These are either machine or computer translations, or human translations that PoEdit has found from a library of previous translations. This may also help to give context or meaning to the original words or phrase. Saving this file will create the appropriate .po and .mo files for a Dutch translation of the plugin. Once you have finished translating a file, you can re-upload the entire plugin or you can just upload the .mo files to the language folder of that plugin in your WordPress install. Alternatively, you can send it on to the developer who will include it in the plugin's release for everyone to use. That's it. Thanks for watching and we look forward to receiving your translations.